we're doing a supply drop opening today. Activision, I think, sent this care package. I did actually happen to order something from the Call of Duty shop. Please don't get mad at me. But I got a shipping notification from this saying that it was from Activision. So I don't think it's actually my order from the Call of Duty shop. So yeah, let's see what's inside. This is gonna be a really professional unboxing. Oh, they use packing peanuts. Why? I might have to film with my phone because I don't know how well this camera's gonna pick it up. Alrighty, so here's the box. Here's all these annoying Cheetos. Let's just get rid of them. Get them out of here. Get them out. Please nerf the peanuts next time. Yeah, just give me a second. I gotta pull this thing out. Bravo 6, going dark. <laughs> The aftermath. Let's just put all of them back in. These actually smell like Cheetos. Is that weird? All right, so it's all cleaned up. This is where all the Cheetos went. Get them out of here. All right, what? Get back here. All right, and here's the box. Now I'm no expert in branding, but I'm pretty sure this is for advanced warfare. Let's check it out. I gotta open it up with one hand. There's a big Modern Warfare 2 sticker right there. <laughs> Gonna have to, oh shit, okay, hold up. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one took two hands as well, but we got the sticker open, which means we can open the whole thing, I hope. Oh my God, look at that. Ooh! Call of Duty. Happy holidays. We're incredibly thankful for all your hard work and dedication to Call of Duty this last year. We hope that your holidays are full of relaxation, late night gaming, and time spent with loved ones. Looking forward to working together again in 2023. Stay frothy, the Call of Duty team. They spelled frosty wrong. How could you? I probably shouldn't show this on camera, but that's probably free merch for merch music. Okay, well, let's see what we got. First thing we have here is some ghost socks. Dude, that's actually so dope. I'm gonna put these on. You know, normally if someone gifts you socks, it means they don't like you. But there's also a lot of other stuff in here, so. Let's see what we got here in the corner. In the corner camper, we got a mug. Triple insulated stainless steel cookware thingy. Is it cookware? Bruh. No, that's cork circle. I can't read. Dishwasher safe. Uh, that is pretty dope. If you make a G Fuel in here, make sure to use code Merck. Save 20%. I don't know if it's meant to be used for that, but you probably can. All right, we also have a shirt right here. Look at that. I'm definitely gonna be changing my shirt. We have a ghost gingerbread cookie. Just like the socks. I'm gonna be matching. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if this was being sold on the shop. I mean, this is actually kind of nice. Gonna fold it really nicely. <laughs> There we go. We also got this nice little uh, flannel. Wait a second, is this a matching pajama set? Because we have the top and then we have this too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's matching pants. Nice. What else do we have here? There's something in here. What is that toasted ghost mallow? Okay, yeah, I needed two hands to get that out, but it is a candle. I think it's supposed to be a marshmallow smell. I mean, it kind of smells like marshmallow. I'm liking this so far. Pretty cozy supply drop. I mean, there's no epic variants in here yet. Maybe it's inside this. Wait, what is that? We have a Modern Warfare 2 pouch, and it has coffee. Honestly, I'm not much of a coffee drinker. I do drink G Fuel regularly, but I'll give that a try. Oh, we got something else in here. We have a milk frother. So you put some batteries in, and then you spin it around, and it'll froth your milk for you. Again, not much of a coffee drinker, but that's pretty sick. Trying to see if there's any other goodies in here, but I think that might be it. But yeah, guys, that was the Sopla Doppler that Activision sent. It came with some socks, a mug, some coffee... Milk frother, a candle, the ghost gingerbread shirt, along with a matching flannel pajama set, and a doggy. Hi, Evie. We got an epic doggy out of the supply drop. Hey, so I missed this while recording, but apparently if you flip this over, there's going to be like some kind of sweepstakes coming up for a personalized Task Force 141 t-shirt. And all you have to do is sign up for the COD shop and newsletter, so yeah. Just figured I'd mention that since I missed it when I first looked at this one. Psst. Just put on the new shirt. I'm going to have to check out that QR code. I have no clue what this is for. Okay, it just takes you to the shop. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the supply drop opening. Again, thanks to Activision for sending this over. This is the first time they've actually sent like a care package. I got to say, I actually respect the hell out of the fact that I can criticize the game and point out the bugs and issues with Modern Warfare 2, hoping that things get fixed. And they still send me a Soplin Doplin, dude. I mean, that's pretty dope. But yeah, guys, we're back on Modern Warfare 2. I hit max rank finally. I actually did finally beat the raid on the regular difficulty. I beat it with Karina and one of our Discord members, Solba. We did also attempt it on Veteran, but it was a little too difficult we haven't done a lot of spec ops so our kits aren't fully ranked up so since we haven't beat the veteran raid and i actually want to be able to beat it i'm gonna do a little bit of spec ops try to get some extra stars i don't know if you can still do that invincibility glitch on low profile i doubt you can but in hindsight i kind of wish i would have done that more so that way i could have actually gotten more stars and have my kits ranked up i think i'll random queue with someone on gun game mount zaya because this one's not too bad there's one that i haven't done yet so i don't even want to try to attempt that with like a random person but here's the different kits and spec ops i mostly just use medic because of the self res it's very good i think tier five for the bomb drone could be helpful the tech sprinting might be kind of helpful along with the faster crouch movement speed and having claymores and AT mines might be kind of helpful for setting up defenses. I know that Karina's really curious to check out the recon kit and try to rank that up. And obviously assault is the first one that you get and it kind of helps you out with the armor plates along with giving you some stims. I mean, it's decent for survivability, but I think where the assault kit lacks is that you don't get streaks to help you out in the raid. But yeah, we're going to queue up for some spec ops. Dude, why does Ethan look so big right now? He was so zoomed in. I'm going to keep ranking up medic because this is where I'm the furthest in. But yeah, for Sunday, I'm definitely planning to do a more in-depth video on the raid for Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to try not to talk about it too much in this video because I do have a pretty big video planned for it. Hopefully I can beat the spec ops mission with this random dude. Armor play bundle, get a sentry gun, the best stuff you can get. If you guys haven't done the spec ops gun game mission, it's actually pretty fun. Oh, yep. Oh no, we got a pistol, why? Of course. Father hell. <laughs> 
Why are you crawling away, bro? Try to defuse this bomb. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Not dying. All right, we got it. But yeah, something that I saw for Modern Warfare 2 that I really do hope is true is that there's some stability fixes. There have been a lot of weird crashing errors lately. On top of the existing crashing errors that exist in the game. Also, that dude just disappeared. Me, hoi, me, noi. How do you actually die? What is wrong with your face? Bro. How do you actually die in this? Not gonna lie, the crashing issues for this game were very annoying for the raid. I really do hope that the game is more stable after this latest patch. It is so frustrating to be progressing the raid only to have someone just crash for some random reason, and then you have to restart the whole thing. I do not like that. Put this down here. Oh, this could be a beautiful spot. Come on. There you go. Oh, that is a great spot. Yo, if you guys haven't done Spec Ops, it's actually so chill. Also, at the time of recording this video, it's still not out, but we don't have access to Building 21, and they have not said anything else about it. Am I just dumb? Like, have people gotten access to it? Also, this is why I love gun game. You can get the Juggernaut minigun, which obviously makes beating the round so much easier. We're just gonna take out this helicopter entirely. Come on, don't even try. You're done. That thing is dead. The last dude is way out here somewhere? Okay. He'll probably just despawn. Yep, okay. If you guys are going to do the Spec Ops mission, all you really need to do is buy armor and get sentry guns. Makes the Spec Ops mission a piece of cake. You can easily get three stars. Just make sure that they don't plant the bombs because that's how you fail and don't get three stars. I think you can have a max of two sentry guns up, so just make sure you coordinate that and place them in good spots. And don't let them plant the bomb, whatever you do. Oh, we got the noob tube. Dude, that is sick. Oh, I don't think I've ever inspected it. Let's go. Uh, okay, that was kind of a weak inspection, to be honest. Let's take out that heli, come on. Don't let that thing live. Oh, there's the suicide bomber. Dude, you gotta be careful with those guys. Holy sh- Dude, this is still horrifying. I don't like it. Oh! Why did I run so close to that guy? <laughs> what? That's the last guy? Whoop! Okay, we're done. Ayo, do you wanna watch A or C? I can watch A. I don't know if the guy's talking. I just went in the game chat. What are we doing? What are we doing over here? You came- Why was that so many punches? Jesus. No way we're getting three stars. They have all these vehicles, but they did not show up. Come on. Come on! Quan feed! Blow it up! Oh my- He just walked through the door. That guy is dangerous. <laughs> Come on, give me a different gun. The jug's right here. Yep. Oh lord. Dude, the jug can melt you if you're not careful. And he gave me the X-12. Are you kidding me? Ah, right, we got him. Nice. Now they're all at sea. Is this guy gonna get him? Wait. Oh, he left. He rage quit. Oh my god. I now I have to beat this by myself. I have no self res, no plates. And I lost. We actually lost. That was a massive fucking waste of time. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever solo queue into this again. That was actually depressing. Let's go do some shipment. Again, I've got some advice and feedback to give on not just the raids, but also Spec Ops as well. But that will be in tomorrow's video. Nah, TDM, man. I need like Hardpoint or Dom. I need something to give me some happiness back after how terrible that was. But yeah, man, I've just been having fun playing shipment. Gotten multiple Javelin quads, hitting feeds on here and stuff. Goofing around and using some weird builds and guns and stuff. It's been awesome. For some classes, I've actually put gold camo on. And I'm kind of working on the camo mastery. Just sort of casually. I mean, I'm only doing that for guns that are really bad. Oh my. Not the hit markers. Oh, the SPR is so much slower. I don't know why. I've been trying to get a bomb drone quad just for fun. Let's blow it up. Oh, okay. I just got one. Ooh. The double hit marker. Come on, dude. That would've been insane. Yeah, I've been using the Javelin a lot on here. Starting to work on the Platinum Mastery. I'm pretty sure you can get a thousand kills with the Javelin on shipment relatively easily. Same thing with the other launchers as well. I don't have all of my classes because on PlayStation you get 12 classes. When I play on PC, I only get to see the first 10 that I have. I have made some gross classes though. Oh, they didn't spawn in that corner, okay. Three throwing knives. I lost it though, so I can't throw it now. Shit. Uh oh. Got another bomb drone. <laughs> oh. They're already over here. Gotta shoot his knees because he's a turtle. Almost out of VTOL, man. Come on. He's on the ground. 
you literally, you can't even see someone laying on the ground in the middle. It's unbelievable. It's really interesting. Like I was talking about the riot shield nerf and stuff and what Infinity Ward could do to stop turtling in the game. Saw some interesting suggestions from you guys as well, saying that if you have the riot shield on your back, it gives you like insane recoil. I think that would be such a funny change. Like someone has the shield on their back and they just start firing the gun like that. Make it really difficult for them to actually land shots. I don't know. There's a lot of creative solutions for it. And I really, really do hope that they consider something because it's just so dumb. Seriously, actually trying to use a riot shield is not a great choice. It never has been and it never will be. Ooh. Oh, if I would have had a collat there, that would have been insane. One thing Infinity Ward also fixed, which is pretty nice, is that if you go to save a custom gun mod now, it apparently will save your weapon tuning with it. For some reason, when they launched the custom gun mods, it would not save the tuning, so you'd have to retune the gun every single time. Apparently, that's fixed now. I mean, I haven't tried it yet. Save it as Stubby. All right, there we go. We have Stubby. He saved the armory. And here's our SAB class as well. Go ahead and save this as Stubby as well. Pretty sure it's going to save the weapon tuning now. Let's just swap out the riot shield on this class. Let's go ahead and test it. We have the SPR. Here's Stubby. Yep, it has Orion camo, it has the attachments, and it has the tuning. There you go. And yes, if you're wondering why I have a turtle class, it was actually for the gameplay I was recording on the last video. I wanted to be able to quickly switch between the Chimera and the Riot Shield. I was going for long shots with the Chimera in tier one, and I was also trying to use the Riot Shield, but the lobby was just way too sweaty. So I rage quit, <laughs> which is difficult to do now because of the whole XP menu. I had to record a lot of different gameplay and a lot of different things for that video. I don't turtle in Modern Warfare 2, and I never will. I've realized that it's a playstyle that I genuinely do not like. I hate running into people doing it, like this guy right here. I mean, it's just so annoying. And I don't want to be part of the problem. I don't want to try to counter people and do it back. I straight up just wanted to get fixed. Oh my. Oh, no. No. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, that was such a weird lobby, but at least we won. But that's good for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me open up the supply drop from Activision as well as playing some Modern Warfare 2. If you guys did enjoy this video and you think that Activision should send me some more softle doppelins to open, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. There's also no combat records for Warzone 2 yet. So when are we getting combat records? Well, guess what? It's TBD because of issues tracking the data. Goodbye, everyone. I'll remember you all in therapy.